Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be cleaning out my makeup collection. It's like way long overdue that this needs to be done. There's so much stuff in my collection that I just don't wear anymore that could totally do with a better home and things that are just like basically empty and just need to go to the trash or there's like really old stuff in there too. So currently my makeup is housed in a Alex 9 drawer set. It's like five or six of the drawers actually have makeup in them and we're going to go through all of them today. I'm going to be kind of strict to myself and only keep stuff that I'm actually going to wear because there's so much makeup in here that I just really won't wear anymore and I have a cute little bin to put everything in. So let's go ahead and get it all set up. Okay so this is what they are currently in. This set of Alex 9 drawers and I have them all labeled and I'm going to put everything in this bin and then at the end I'll put it in a bag to take downstairs. I just like the bin. Okay, so this first drawer here is all my face products. So any foundations, um, primers, concealers, powder, um, beauty sponges, and then like setting sprays are all in this drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and declutter it out. There's a lot of stuff in here that I just either A, it's like almost empty, B, I don't wear it, it's not my color, stuff like that. So first of all, this is my Tarte Shape Tape. It's in the shade light and it's the color that I wear, but it's like basically empty um and it's really old so i think it is time for this to go next is my juvia's place foundation i am the shade 700 vienna i have this on today and i definitely wear it all the time so definitely a keep um i also have my new tarte shape tape that's definitely staying as well i just got rid of the old one because it was like empty i have four shades of the same foundation and honestly, the two darker ones are probably really old at this point because I'm rarely dark enough to wear them and I think I've had them for like three years. So I'm probably, gonna, like this one has like runny on the side. So I'm probably going to get rid of these and just put them in the trash because they're too old and expired. Next up is my little thing of beauty sponges. I'm gonna keep all of these, but I do need to clean them because they're all dirty and gross, as you can see. Then I have these three mini setting sprays. So I have my Mario, De Mario Badesco um, aloe one, and then the Mario Badesco rose spray. I like both of these, they smell really good, and I really like wearing them in the summer. So I'm gonna be keeping those. And then I also have the Milani Make It Last setting spray, the 24 hour lock one. I love this for school, especially like if I'm going to a party or anything like that, this is a great one for that. And it's like, like over halfway gone, so I just wanna finish it off. This concealer right here is basically completely empty. It is from Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and I was in the shade 110 Fair. I'm probably gonna go rebuy this. I take the little sponge off just because I think it's kind of unsanitary and also wastes a lot of product. But as you can see, I'm like all the way out, and I really like these because they make sure you get like actually all the product out because like it's the little thing that goes all the way down. But this guy needs to go in the trash. Next up is my Fit Me Maybelline setting powder. It's loose setting powder, looks like that. Um, this is also in the shade Fair, I believe. Yeah, Fair 05, and I wear this pretty often, especially in the winter time when I'm like going for more full coverage makeup. Then I have my new MAC Fix Plus spray, and this is definitely a staying in the collection. Like I just got it and I love it so far. Now I have my e.l.f. Putty Primer. I love this stuff. It's great for like covering um, large pores and anything like that. I use it all the time. Yeah, definitely a must. I love this stuff. This is my Clinique setting powder. I was using this before I had, before I went and picked up the Fit Me powder, but it is literally empty. So it's gonna be going on to the trash. Next, I have a pressed powder. This is from CoverGirl and it is the clean fresh powder in the shade 110 porcelain it has a mirror and it's just a setting powder i use it on my face like particularly like on my forehead and nose to keep it like matte down without having like a heavy powder like this one next i have this little sample size professional primer but i really just don't like it like it doesn't work well on me so i'm just gonna get rid of it now i have a nars foundation that is like completely still in the box and i've never used it because it's not my shade my mom got it for free from a friend and it is way too dark for me so i'm most likely going to be selling this on my poshmark any new or very, very gently used, like I'm talking like swatched makeup, I'm going to be selling on my Poshmark page. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'm going to have it linked down below for you to check out. But this one will be on my Poshmark. So if you wear the shade 
light 2.5 Yukon in the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS, I can hook you up with a lower price. One of the last items is the Iconic London Spray. I just got this and I'm really excited to use it in the summer. It's so pretty and like shimmery and I just, uh, I love the way that it looks. So I'm really excited for that. Then I have this e.l.f. Um, setting spray as well. It's the Matte Magic Mist and Set Spray. And I'm gonna be keeping this one just cause I'm almost out of it. So I want to finish using it up and not waste any of it. So this guy is gonna stay as well. I have a couple of samples in here and honestly I've just had them for a really long time. And I probably won't be keeping them just because I haven't used them yet. And I don't really see the purpose in keeping samples that I've had for like three years and I'm not gonna use, especially because Becca is literally about to go out of business in September. So there's no point in keeping this one. Like I'm not gonna be able to pick up the product if I liked it. So that one can definitely go. And then these two can go as well. I'm just not gonna use them. And they've been sitting in my drawer for years. And then I also have this Makeup Forever little sample of a primer from them. And I do like this primer. I've used it a couple times. So I'm gonna keep it and just use up the rest of the little like travel mini size and then potentially end up purchasing it. Um, I haven't used it in a little bit. So I do wanna make sure it still works for my skin before I do pick it up. And then I have this Saint Tropez one night only like gloss that honestly is like way too dark for me and it just doesn't look good on me. It's a little mini travel one so I'll probably be putting this on my Poshmark and just using it as like a bonus gift for anyone who purchases makeup. So if you want this let me know. So that's all from this drawer except I have this little roller but this is like skincare stuff and I just use it all the time so that's gonna stay in there. Okay, next up is like the eye products slash eyebrow products drawer. This is like individual shadows, liquid shadows, and then like mascara, eyebrow, all that kind of stuff. So first of all, I have two of these because this one is empty and needs to go. Like I've been using it to try to fill it all the way out and then start on this one. But I think it's the end of its road, so it can go. This mascara is the Lush Domination from Bare Minerals. I've used it a few times, but I definitely like this one more. However, I'm going to keep it as a backup for if I run out of this and need a mascara. This Stila pencil is probably just like a million years old at this point. Uh, it's still working. So I might as well just keep it for now because I don't wear eyeliner often, but if I do, I like to have a pen on hand. So I'm going to keep that one. This is my new um, Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. I got the shade medium brown. I do have lightened hair right now, but I still like to have my eyebrows be decently dark. So I'm going to be keeping this. I just got it and I love it. This is a Marc Jacobs brown um, liner. It's like a pencil liner and I like this pretty good. I usually do it on like my bottom lashes, like on the outer edge. Um, if I'm going to wear eyeliner, but keep it kind of minimal. Then I have my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I'm honestly almost out of it. Like I've been using this so much that it's almost empty, like getting pretty close to empty. So I'm gonna keep it and finish it off um, just so that I'm not wasting anything. These, this is my favorite ColourPop Super Sock Shadow that I own. That was definitely a tongue twister. It's the Lady Bird shade and it's literally so gorgeous. Like you can see the shimmer just from in the pan. It's so pretty. This is one of my favorite shades to wear. I wear it on my eyelids all the time just by itself or with like a crease color. These ones are more like summery colors. Like that's kind of like a peachy rose gold. This one is definitely like a rose gold color. You guys can see it's like gold to rose gold. And then the other one is like a true gold. So I'll show you that one too. I think I'm going to keep all of those just because they are very small packaging and I use them decently often. That one's like super shimmery and I like that. I don't really have that shade much in other palettes, like that true gold color. These are my Stila liquid metal eyeshadows. This one is like extremely old, so it's probably time to say goodbye to it. It's not very liquidy anymore. I got this like four years ago, so I think it's time to go. So this is my Pixie by Petra one. This one is basically a drugstore version of the Stila liquid metals. I really like this one. It's like a nice color for me. Um, then I have these two from Stila that I'm going to keep because they're relatively new. I got them from TJ Maxx for like really cheap and they work pretty well. I like them. They don't really smear easily after they dry down. This one I especially like. It's more like glittery. I've used it more and it looks kind of like that if you guys can see it. 
Yeah, it looks like that. So it's very shimmery. So I'm gonna keep all of those. These drawers that are at the top are less of the stuff that I'm gonna be getting rid of, but just wait for the palettes and like powder stuff in the bottom and the lip products. I'm about to get rid of so much of that. This is from um, Monet. It's a primer and it's for like your wrinkly areas like around your eyes and like your smile lines and stuff. I'm not like the biggest fan of it, so I'm probably just going to give it to my mom. So I'm gonna stick this to the side because I don't use it and I think my mom would like it better. This is Lash and Brow Serum from them. I use this pretty often, trying to grow my eyelashes and brows out more. And I have one in my bathroom too, so I use this one during the morning, like when I'm doing my makeup, and the other one at night after I take off my makeup and wash my face. Next drawer is the lip drawer, AKA the hot mess drawer, because let's just see, all of this is in here. And we're about to clean it out quite a bit. It's just a mess. Basically, a lot of product that I don't ever use. So let's start cleaning it out. These are from a wedding. I don't need two. They're just little chapsticks. So I'm probably just gonna keep this one and get rid of the one that is last used and give it away to like my mom or something. These are like a million years old. They're little Stila um, liquid lipsticks, but I've had them for again, like four or five years, basically the same that I had that little mini Stila eye thing. And I think they're, they're done. They are old and probably not sanitary to put on my lips anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of them. I think there was five. So like all of these can go. They're going to the trash because they're old. Next is these mini Kylie lip lipsticks. Honestly, I'm just not the biggest fan of liquid lipstick anymore. It's like very drying and I don't like my lips to be dry, especially in the summertime. And honestly, I don't really wear the colors, especially um, Small Wonder was like way too pink for me. So that one's definitely going. I might lean towards keeping the um, sweater weather one. Let me look at the color. Oh, it's definitely dried out. So never mind. We're not keeping that. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Lipstick. This is a really nice color and these don't dry down quite as matte as some other liquid lipsticks. So I think I'm gonna keep that one. This chapstick is just empty, so it's time for it to go. Like it won't roll up anymore. That can go. And all the empty products are going into a product empties bin in my closet because I will be doing a 2021 product empties towards the end of this year. And I want to be able to have them because I'm going to use it to build a budget for next year. I'm doing this with quite a few different areas of my life to try to budget some money so I can save for a house in a couple of years. So that will be coming at the end of this year if you guys are interested. This NARS liquid lipstick is again something that doesn't dry down quite as much. And I like keeping a red or two on hand, especially for like this holiday season. And I really like this one, so I'm going to be keeping it. Next is this lipstick from, I believe, Maybelline. Yeah, it's a Maybelline lipstick. I'm just gonna swatch it to check the color. So that's a decent color. I'll probably keep it and then check and see how many lipsticks I'm keeping at the end. So we'll keep this for now, but I don't know if it's actually going to stay. This from um, Jeffree Star is like one of those really sparkly lipsticks and I really like it, but I don't wear it that often. And I have a hard time parting with it because I really like it. It's just, it's like pleasing to the eye. So I'm gonna hold on to it for right now, but I'm most likely gonna get rid of it. I just have a hard time parting with it. So I'm like, ooh. This liquid lipstick from Sleek Cosmetics. I really like this color. It's like that like mauve color. So I'm gonna keep that one too. It's a great fall color and it's not very big, so it doesn't take up a ton of space. This EOS chapstick, um, honestly, I'm just, I don't like the bulky packaging, so I'm probably just gonna give it away. This lip scrub from ColourPop, I really like this one. It's like the peach flavor, and it smells amazing, and it tastes good too. Really probably shouldn't eat it, but if it gets on your lips and then somehow gets in your mouth, like, mm, it's fine. It's the Bellini BB one, and it's so good. These are from Clinique, and honestly, they're just really messy. They The lids come off all the freaking time and make a disaster in my drawer. So I'm probably just gonna get rid of them just because they're annoying. So all five of these can go. This is a Sugar Rose from Fresh. It's a chapstick, like a tinted one. And I really like this for summer. I have a lot left of it. So I'm gonna keep that. This baby lips thing is like a million years old. So it needs to go. It's literally probably from like 2012. Goodbye. <laughs> This is just a Carmex lip um, 
like chapstick. I just need this because I get dry lips sometimes. So we'll be keeping this. It's got a lot in it still, so I'll be using that. I love Burt's Bees chapstick. This one's wild cherry, and I also like vanilla bean and strawberry a lot. So I'm keeping those. I think one of them's in my purse. I believe I have more lipstick in my purse. Let me grab that real quick. Yeah, I did have extra lipsticks in my purse. Both of these are keeps. This is a lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury. I got it for Christmas and I love it. And this is like one of my all time favorite lipsticks. It is a Fenty Beauty lipstick. So both of these are staying. Okay, let's look at these Kylie lipsticks because I don't really wear them. They're just really not my thing. They're too drying. They make my lips hurt, honestly. Um, I may keep like one just for the purpose of like going out because it doesn't come off but I definitely don't need this super bright red it's just not my thing way too bright of a red I like the more like true red this is just like so vibrant like it is so bright I can't wear it I think compared to the NARS one it's a lot different let me check them yeah they're a little bit different so I'm gonna keep the NARS one and get rid of the Kylie one I just don't need to and this one is a lot more drying <clears throat> this is the Kylie X Balmain one it is very very pink like I don't know about it it's so pink and it's just like light pink and it doesn't really look good on me so I think we're gonna get rid of this one too the packaging is really pretty I love this color like the little reflective one but I don't wear it and it could do better in a better home so it's gonna leave these ones are all very close in color. I do not need three of these. I should probably just pick one and keep one. So I'm gonna swatch them real quick, see what they look like and make a decision. So that one is the shade Savage. Okay. Then we have the shade, let me get down. Oh, that one's just pretty. This one is low key. I think this one was my favorite low key. Um, and then this one is Candy K. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep low-key. It's a little bit more warm, which is what I like, and get rid of the other two. This one's the only Kylie lipstick that's going to be staying. I do have some of her lip glosses, and I tend to like those a lot better just because they don't dry out my lips. So this is her Cupid gloss. It's a really pretty color. It's like rose gold glittery, and it looks like that. It's so pretty, and I really like it, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm a lip gloss and bullet lipstick type girl, if you can't tell with what I'm keeping. Um, then I have these two high glosses from her. This one's in the shade Sweet. Yeah, Sweet. And it looks like that. So these are the more like um, clear bases with like the glitter in them. And I really like these, so I'm going to keep both of them probably. This one's from the Balmain collection, and it's the shade Model Behavior. Looks like that. Both of those are definitely staying because I wear them all the time. This is a mini Fenty lip gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. And I'm going to be keeping this one too. I love this formula. Like literally any shade I'll take of this. I'm thinking about getting another shade. Potentially like around Black Friday or like the sales and everything. This is a lipstick from Rimmel. And I think it's a little old. So it's probably... Uh, I'm smelling it. It kind of smells like crayons, so it's probably got to go. It's just old. Then I have some um, lip liners. I'm probably going to keep these just because I don't have very many, and they kind of cover my color bases. I only have six of them, and they're all different shades, so I'm going to keep all of these. So I tried to wipe my hand off to be able to swatch more, and as you can see, those reds are staining. Another reason I don't like them very much. Um, and then I didn't use a makeup wipe. I just used like a rag and some water so the, lip, or the waterproof eyeliner obviously didn't come off. But next up, I have the Lippy Balm from ColourPop that goes with that lip scrub from earlier. I'm going to keep this. I love chapstick, so it's definitely staying too. This is a lipstick from Maybelline, and it's like glittery, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. It's kind of pretty, but it's like an odd shade. I think I'm just going to get rid of it. I've never worn it, so... It will be up on Poshmark if you want it. This one is one that I've worn several times previously, and I really like this color. It's like, as you can see, I kind of have a color type. I like these, like, mauvey pinks, and this one includes that color story, so we're keeping that. This lip gloss from Patrick Ta is beautiful, so I'm keeping it. It is so pretty. It's like 
rose goldish, but like more sheer than the other one. This one is from Maybelline. It's a lip gloss. It's called Lifter Gloss, and it honestly kind of reminds me of the Fenty formula, just more sheer. But I really like it. It's a great drugstore dupe if I'm doing drugstore makeup, and I'm gonna keep it. This is a Sephora Lip Stories lipstick. I got this for prom a couple years ago, and I love it so i'm keeping it but i'll show you guys the color it's so pretty like it's beautiful and i'm gonna keep it it's the shade three oi okay this one is from um from l'oreal and it looks like this and i'm gonna swatch it that's more of like a brown nude but i don't have many of those so i am gonna hold on to this it's pretty like sheer and kind of um, glossy when you put it on so I do like that about it that it's like not overpowering this thing from Milani is like the worst thing that's ever existed it's literally disgusting like I don't know why they made this in a lip gloss but it's like the most glittery thing I've ever seen and it just it doesn't stay on your lips it's kind of gross doesn't taste good it's just gross so we're getting rid of that Next, I have two of the exact same lip gloss because I like to keep one in my purse and one in my vanity. They're one of my favorite lip glosses of all time. They are Prismatic Peach from Milani. So I have like the old packaging and the new packaging because this one's newer. And I love this lip gloss. It's one of my favorites. If you need a drugstore lip gloss, this is one that you definitely should pick up. It's so good. I also have another shade from that line. It is shade four Luminoso. It's more of a pink tone. These are more peachy, but I love all three of them. So I'm going to keep them. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. I don't know if I liked this formula. I can't really remember. It looks like that. I think I'm going to hold on to it now and try it out a little bit more. And then if I don't like it, I will get rid of it then. This is a lip gloss from Jeffree Star. I actually have two of them. They're from like the limited Valentine's Day mystery boxes. I got them on Poshmark and I really like them. So I'm going to hold on to them. They're not like they look crazy, like especially this purple one, but it's very like sheer and just has a little bit of purple like shimmer to it so i'm gonna keep both of them this is a lip lipstick from makeup forever and it's so dark like i just don't wear this color like i don't know if i would keep this for any purpose like it's just so dark but like maybe i would wear it in the winter so it's the only color that i have like this so i am gonna hold on to it just for the purpose of seeing if i'll wear it this winter and if i don't then i'll get rid of it then this is my little collection of Revlon Ultra HD lip product. So they have this metallic one, not the biggest fan of. It's just kind of strange. It's like trying to be a lip gloss, but it's not. And I just don't really like it, so I'm going to get rid of it. The other three I really like, particularly this one. It's like one of the few berry colors that I have in my collection because it's not drying and it looks good on my skin so i like that we're gonna keep it and then these two i really like as well so i'm probably gonna keep them but i'm just gonna check that they're not old then i just have a clear lip gloss from la colors i honestly just keep it so i have a clear gloss and it works great so i'm just gonna be holding on to that and we're down to our bottom row so i have more maybelline lipstick so this one looks like that and I like this color. It's more of a like a peach tone and I really like it so I'm going to be keeping that. And then we have, whoa, this one's kind of bright. I don't know about this. Yeah, that I can live without. So we're going to get rid of this one. It's in the shade 550 Honey Pink. It's just really bright and it's not for me. This is another Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss. I got these in a little set and I love them. Especially, look how cute the packaging is. It's like sparkly. But it looks like this and it's just a little lip gloss and it has glitter in it and I love it. It's not glitter, it's like just shimmer, but so beautiful. These are four Anastasia lip glosses. I also got these in a set. Um, I like them all, but I will swatch them for you guys. So this one is the shade nude like n-o-o-d and it looks like that it's like more of a brown tan tone gonna be keeping that guy this is the shade bella this is my favorite one um i was wearing this today and it looks like that so pretty 
beautiful color. And then these two have shimmer in them. This one is the shade peachy with like three Y's and it's really pretty. It's like a shimmery one. Looks like that. Great summer color. And then this one is the shade Sparkle Lava. <laughs> That's an interesting name. And then it looks like this. So yeah, those are those lip glosses. I'm going to be keeping all of them. I'm going to go wipe my hand again so we have some room. This is the lipstick that came with that Charlotte Tilbury collection. I love this lipstick. It's a beautiful color and the packaging is to die for. It's just the shade Pillow Talk. It's like one of their signature shades and it's so pretty. So I'm keeping it. This is the Milani lipsticks that I have. I honestly have doubles of several colors because I go to school and I like to leave some at home. So I have doubles of this color, which is Nude Cream. Um, that one is so pretty. It's kind of similar to the Pillow Talk color, but it's more pink. And the other one is a little bit more mauve. And then I have the shade Dolce Carmelo. It has a slight like shimmery sheen, but I just really love that color. That's the first one I ever got from them. As you can see, very much the same color story, but I love all three of them. So I'm keeping them. This one is a repeat of number 27 Dolce Carmelo. I'm keeping that because it goes to school with me. I'm just home for break. Oh my God, do I have three? I think I have three of these. I'm pretty sure I have three. Okay, well, we have an extra. Yeah, I have I have three of the same color. I have a problem, but it's fine. This is um another one of the nude cream that I have. Again, I take one to school, so I like to have two of those. Still don't know why I have three of Dolce Carmelo, but I do. And then this one is shade 25, Naturally Chic. It's more of a berry tone. I will swatch this for you guys. It's a little bit darker. I like this for fall. It's really pretty. Um, still like that mauve tone, but a darker shade. I love these lipsticks. If you're looking for a lipstick that's drugstore and affordable, definitely a collection to go to. This is also from them, but it's a different formula. It's the Bold Matte, and I really like this shade as well. I just love Milani, um, and it's different formula, but kind of similar color to shade 25 over here, but I like having the options of different formulas and looks because one of these are more like, um, like hydrating, and this one's a very matte formula. Okay, so this has bronzer, contour, blush, and highlighter in it. So lots of stuff. It goes like way back in the drawer. Um, so first thing I'm gonna pull out is this Tarte palette. I got this like when I first started getting into makeup and honestly, I just don't use it anymore. Like I don't reach for these shades anymore. I have a lot that are in easier to store packaging and like singles instead of this big bulky like circle. So I am gonna get rid of this. I did pan out the highlighter in here a long time ago and honestly this is probably just old so it probably should go next i have a couple of liquid highlighters this is from jeffree star it's the liquid frost in the shade ice cream bling i really like this especially in the summer add a little bit of shimmer to the skin it looks really really nice especially if you're wearing like a bathing suit and stuff like that so that will be staying back there this is cover effects um these are like the glitter drops and then this is more of like the enhancer drops this is a little mini that i got like a travel size i really like this shade it's the shade moonlight and honestly i probably should get a full size because i love this stuff this one is a little less usable it's more glitter than shine like i can show you these two back like side to side and you'll see what i'm talking about this one is more like a shine and I like it like that is so pretty but this one is like glitter like I just really don't know where I'm gonna wear this like you see the difference it's just a little much and it's just too dark for me so I'm gonna sell this on Poshmark I don't ever use it so I'm gonna use maybe once next 
these this is the high beam um liquid highlighter from the benefit so just don't really use it i'm gonna get rid of it i don't need it these are loose highlighters from wet n wild and i really like these for drugstore highlighters they're very vibrant so this is more like the pinky shade and i like it a lot especially when i'm more pale and then this is the gold color this one works better when i have a little bit more of a tan it's more like a gold champagne it's running more yellow in the camera but it's definitely more champagne in person i really like these they're only like three dollars and this one is the shade shade i'm so lit and this is the shade written in the stars so these are really cute really affordable next i have these two jeffree star highlighters honestly i don't wear them and they're huge and somebody else could be getting a lot more use out of them than i could so i am going to get rid of them and put them on my poshmark i've never really like i've never used this one and i've used the other one like twice so if you guys want these i think they're both limited edition so if you guys want these i have the shades crystal ball and eclipse so if you guys are interested in either of these this one was a collab i believe um just let me know they'll be on my poshmark which is linked down below this one is the maybelline master chrome rose gold color highlighter and honestly I just don't wear it it's a little too dark for me like even when i have fake tan which is like now it's just really dark like that doesn't really give me a lot of shine over my skin like it almost casts it so i'm gonna get rid of that and give it to a new home i've used it like once this is a highlighter from wet n wild again they make pretty good highlighters this one is so cool it's like a cream type of formula and it's so pretty look at that shimmer oh my god it's so pretty so i'm keeping that because i just love it it's great for like parties and stuff and it's so affordable this is a fenty beauty highlighter but it is so dark for me there is no way it's in the shade hustla baby but it's dark for me like there's no way this is what it looks like it's just really dark on me and i have a fake tan right now and it's still dark so this is gonna go to a new home this oh my god i love this thing this is so cool it's from um fenty beauty it's the how many carats highlighter the coolest thing about this is that it's a clear base so it works with any skin tone and look at that like hello it's so pretty it's like um just like clear diamond shimmer and it looks so good next i have a bronzer back here from physicians formula i broke the packaging like a long time ago but it still works and i really like the color it's kind of um white for me right now because of my fake tan but i really like it and i'm gonna hold on to it i also use this as a crease color quite a bit like on my eyes i've had this for like a year and i use it all the time and it's still like got a ton of product so you get a lot for your money it's only like i think like 12 or 14 dollars this one here is the stila putty kitten highlighter and i love this stuff especially if i'm doing more like minimal makeup in the summer it is so pretty it's like like you guys can't even really see it that good but it is gorgeous and i'm obsessed with it so it is staying this is my favorite bronzer of all time it is mark jacobs and oh my god look at it so nice it's huge the mirror is gigantic there's you guys up there and it is amazing for doing your makeup like i don't even have to have my magnifying mirror when i travel because i just use the mirror and this it is so nice this little guy is quite the story it is almost completely gone this is my favorite highlighter ever it's from becca and can i just say i'm so sad that they are closing up shop in september that i bought a full size one because i knew i was gonna run out so it's brand new and i haven't even taken the package off because i want to keep it for as long as possible but i'm gonna finish this one up it's like on the last leg i've been using this for over a year and i love it so one of the best shades of all time i'll show you guys just so you can see if you want to snag it before they close it's in moonstone and if you're like more pale so pretty this is an ofra highlighter and it is in the everglow shade and it's beautiful it has three different colors so it has this light color like that which is way too light for me right now it has this gold color which is kind of like a good shade for now and then it also has this like copper color that i use as eyeshadow but if you have a darker complexion it would look beautiful 
I love this thing. The formula from Ofra Highlighters is just so creamy and smooth that I just can never get rid of their products. Next, I have a Kylie blush. This one is in the shade Kitten Baby. It is a like peachy nude and it's really pretty. Looks like that blush swatches are hard because they just don't show up that much, but that's like what they're supposed to do. It's beautiful. I'm keeping it. it has a mirror in it too. And I got this for like $8 from Ulta. Haven't taken the little covering off of it just because it's new. Um, and I'm going to be keeping it. So these are the Maybelline Fit Me blushes. I broke this one a little bit, but this is a great dupe for NARS Orgasm if you want that, but don't want to pay the expensive price tag. These are like six or seven dollars a piece and they're really pretty this is my favorite blush that i own it is from ColourPop. it is the shade frisky business from the peach collection um i take it all over the place so the packaging's kind of worn but it's so beautiful it if you can't tell i have a color palette that i like it's like this peach color gosh that does not show up on camera but i love this stuff i'm actually making a dent in a blush and i never thought that would happen like you can kind of see the pan underneath beautiful i love this stuff the next one is this tarte blush i'm gonna swatch it because i haven't looked at it in a while honestly i don't have really much in this shade so i'm probably gonna hold on to it just for that purpose um of having that for like winter and fall this one is a mini milani blush and it's more of like a nude mauve and i also really like that so i'm gonna hold on to it this bigger one is um I don't know. It's very similar to the other two that I have, and I just don't need that many repeat colors, so I'm probably going to get rid of this one as well. Um, my mom would probably want it, so I'm going to give it to her. It's really pretty. I just don't need this many, and I already love my ColourPop one so much, so this one is going to go. Next, I have a highlighter from e.l.f. Oh my god, this thing is like the best drugstore highlighter ever. Like, it's so pretty. It reminds me of the Becca highlighter. It's very close in color. And it's gorgeous. So if you want the Becca highlighter and don't want to pay a lot or when they go out of business, this guy's a great dupe. All right, last pan um, highlighter and then we're moving on to these palettes up here. This one is Flexitarian from ColourPop. And oh my God, if you want something that's going to make you look like you are freaking glowing to the gods, that's it right there. This and the Fenty highlighter that I showed you guys, the How Many Carrots one, is definitely the most like blinding highlights in my collection, besides maybe some um, Ofra ones, but like, holy crap, $8 and you get that? Like, that is gorgeous. So I'm definitely keep This palette is a Becca palette. It's the Afterglow palette, and I use it all the time. I really like this shade for crease colors, and I also love these two highlighters, and the blushes are really pretty too, so this is definitely staying. I use this all the time. This is from Ofra. It's a highlighter palette. It has the shades Rodeo Drive, Pillow Talk, and Blissful in it. I really only use these two because this is just too dark for me, but beautiful colors. This one looks great in the winter because I'm a little bit more pale and it's like that pinky tone. It also has a mirror in it and I enjoy this a lot. The formulas for these are amazing. This is a Milani highlighter palette. Again, a great drugstore option if you're looking for highlighters. I use these two on my face and this one sometimes on my eyes just because it's really dark for me. But if you have a darker complexion, that's a great option for you. Um, this one particularly is another one of those blinding highlighters like the ColourPop Flexitarian. So if you have this, you probably don't need the other one. I just love them and I also love these colors. And I bought the ColourPop first, so I couldn't get rid of them but they're just they're gorgeous and then this one that i use on my eyes is also really pretty this is my new hourglass palette i got it for christmas and i love it i use these two shades all the time as setting powder especially now because i want more of a glowy look for the summer i also use this blush quite a bit these this one is more like winter fall for me and i haven't used this bronzer yet just because i just now self tanned and it's a little bit darker than what i normally use and then this is a highlighter but again a little bit darker than what i normally use but now that it's going into summer i'm definitely going to be using this a ton this is the laura geller palette I'm honestly debating if I should keep it or not. Um, I really would be keeping it for the peach shade and potentially Gilded Honey. Just, they're so pretty, I can't get rid of them. Why is highlighter so hard to get rid of? 
I'm sorry I'm failing you guys. This is just hard for me. I just love makeup. I'm gonna keep it. Oops. Um, the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. This is iconic. I can't get rid of it. I love this shade and now that they're going out of business, I can't get rid of it. I'm never gonna be able to get it again. I'm never gonna be able to get any of these shades again, so it is staying in the collection. And again, I have another Becca palette. If you guys can tell, I like Becca highlighters a lot. <laughs> this one has three highlighters, a blush, and a bronzer. And then this one, they call a blush, but it's more of an eyeshadow for me. So I have a bl bronzer here, blush here, three highlighters, and then like an eyeshadow shade. These are beautiful. So this is staying too. And I just really like the packaging. It's like, got like a little like almost frost on it it's very beautiful finally out of this drawer this is my Anastasia contour kit honestly I don't use this anymore I used it quite a bit mostly just for this shade back in the day but I don't use it anymore and there's no point keeping it in my collection so I'm going to part ways with this this was one of my first makeup items when I started like actually getting into makeup in high school but I'm gonna be getting rid of it just because I don't need it and I don't wear it, so there's no point in keeping it. Okay, that drawer's a little bit more minimized. All right, last makeup drawer. <sighs> the eyeshadow bin, there's a lot in here. You guys just can't see it all. Hang on and I'll show you. It's full, it's got a lot in here. There's like palettes on palettes. It's like overflowing, I just hit the tripod. It's literally overflowing with makeup and it's just, it's gotta be cleaned out. There's so many palettes in here. So I'm gonna take it all out of the drawer and we'll do it on the floor for this one because there's too much in here. I just can't have it um, like trying to operate out of the drawer like I have for the other ones. So I'm just taking them all out and we'll work with them on the floor. Okay. Alright, so here we go on the palettes. So first up is this palette. I love this. It's from Huda. Oh no! One of the shades is like partially broken. I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'm gonna try to squish that back down and blow out the stuff. I'm gonna keep it. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Like all of these colors just speak to me. I love pink and like rose gold shades. Hopefully, I'm gonna maybe try to repress that shade so that it's not dead in the water. Or I might just replace it soon because I have used quite a bit of it. So definitely keeping them. Okay, next up is the ColourPop Whatever palette. This is one of the only ColourPop palettes I have that's not a curated palette that I like made myself. This is a great fall palette. Like it has all of those like maroon shades, a little bit of gold. I can't get rid of this because it's so affordable. So I have zero problem recommending it to people and the colors are beautiful. They also blend out really well. Oh my god, I love this. I'm having a hard time getting rid of stuff, if you guys can't tell. But this is beautiful. I love this blue for um, UK games, because if you guys don't know, I go to the University of Kentucky. So when we get to go to game day, I use this shimmery blue a lot. And then all of these neutrals, beautiful. So this is definitely saying the formula in this is amazing. Like, Dose of Colors eyeshadows are really freaking good. So if you're looking for a good, solid formula, this is a good place to go. The Jeffree Star um, Blood something. I can't even remember what it's called. The Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. It's beautiful, but I don't know when I'm going to wear these colors. I'm having a hard time, you guys. I think I might end up keeping this one and getting rid of my other purple palettes. Why am I struggling? It's beautiful. Like these colors stunning look stunning oh this purple oh my god gorgeous I can't I can't get rid of it you guys I just I can't get rid of it because it's so pretty it's so pretty I can't do it I'm gonna hold this off for a little bit and hopefully get the courage to get rid of it if not, I need to actually start using it. I just haven't really used it. I need to reach for like the lighter colors in it and do like more springtime looks because this is definitely something I could do that with. These dark colors kind of intimidate me like in this region and over here, but I could do something with some of this. So 
Let me know if you guys want to see a look with this because I could totally try it and hopefully decide to keep it because it's so pretty. This is a Storybook Cosmetics palette. I just don't wear this and I don't really like these like icy blues. They're just not my thing. The formula isn't as good as I would like it to be as far as like being on par with my other shades. It's just not as blendable, but the packaging is gorgeous. But I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Oh my gosh, next up is my most bougie expensive palette I own. It's my Natasha Denona palette. This is a bronze lover's dream. It's beautiful. It has an amazing mirror in it. All the colors are so pretty. I got this last summer and I'm definitely keeping it. Next, I have my James Charles palette. I'm going to keep this solely for the purpose of having these rainbow colors if I want them. I also really like this shade and his black and white in here. So good. I love this palette for the colors if I am getting creative with that because I don't want to have like six colorful palettes and I am able to get what I want done with this and maybe like one extra thing thrown in. This is what I'm debating against with the um, Jeffree Star palette and now looking at it I do think I want to keep the Jeffree Star palette. This one just isn't as interesting. I don't know. Like these, beautiful. The rest, eh, not, not the greatest. I almost... If anyone knows how to depot eyeshadows, please let me know because I would like to take like four out of here and then get rid of the rest of the palette because I just don't need it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to part with this one. If anyone knows how to depot eyeshadow, please let me know. This one I just picked up. Sorry, Dixie decided to join us today. Are you, are you going to stay with me? Huh? You want to be in the video too? Okay, you can stay. So this one I just got. I haven't even gotten to use it yet just because I haven't had a reason to wear eyeshadow lately. But it is so, it's so pretty. It's from NYX. It's the Ultimate Utopia palette. Lots of color options here. Dixie decides she wants to smell it. Really pretty colors. I'm excited to try it out. And I'll let you guys know how I like it. I've swatched it, but that's it. And I haven't swatched the whole thing, just a couple of colors. So I'm going to hold on to this because it is brand new and I want to try it out. Next, I have a collection of Anastasia palettes. I have six palettes here. I used to have seven, but I got rid of Subculture because it was absolute trash. Hated that thing. This one is my favorite. Norvina, speak to me. This is gorgeous. Rose golds, pinks, a little bit of purple, some nudes. This is like my favorite palette that I own, besides maybe the Dose of Colors palette and that Huda palette I showed you guys. Those are like my top three. So this is never leaving. If it gets expired, I'm buying a new one. This is the Soft Glam palette. If you need a summer palette and you're kind of like just want one or two palettes, this is a great one to go for because it is all of your basics covered. It's got lots of nudes, a little bit of a pink tint, some gold. Gorgeous. Definitely keeping it. This one is another one that I'm definitely going to keep. It's the Sultry palette. It is the cool tones that I really like reaching for in the winter. So I'm definitely holding on to this one as well. This one and packaging is gorgeous. I like am going to part with. This is the holiday collection from like three years ago, maybe four years ago. Now I'm not really sure. It was cool, but I just don't really reach for it. Like the color story is just a lot of everything like it's just not really my style and I was keeping it for the sole purpose of having this in case I ever wanted it but now that I got that ultimate utopia palette and another palette that I have they have similar colors so I don't feel the need to hold on to this anymore this is modern renaissance everyone knows about this palette I got a new one when I got the holiday collection last year and got soft glam in it as well I am going to hold on to this just because um I do like the mattes in here the Shimmers are not as good quality as some of their later palettes are, but I love the mattes in here, so I'm going to hold on to this. <sighs> this is the Carly Bible palette, and I want to love this. Let's just put it that way. I want to love this palette, but it just isn't up to par. The colors are gorgeous. Formula, not so much. It, it doesn't blend very well. Some of the shimmers are dry, like this feels like scratchy and it just yeah uh, it doesn't it doesn't pay out as much as I would like it to the shades that I really like is this gold and this like pink down here but I think I have other palettes that have that in it 
So I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one, even though the packaging is gorgeous and the colors are beautiful, but the formula just kind of sucks. This is a Morphe palette. This is just a basic palette. It almost looks kind of bridal to me because it's like pink. It's great for traveling, so I pretty much just hold on to it for that purpose. I have the little sheet still because I like to know the shade names. This pink color up here, this little shimmer, is really pretty. If you guys want to see that, it's really pretty. So I like this palette quite a bit. It's great to travel with if you just want like basics. This is, I got this for Christmas, so it's pretty new. It's a Huda palette. It's the Naughty Nudes palette, and I really think it's so pretty. Like, all the little marble shades are really cool. This, kind of questionable, but everything else, gorgeous. All of her palettes, I feel like, especially this one and New Nude, which I don't have, but I've swatched in store before, lean very pink. Like, these, you wouldn't think are that pink, but they lean more pink. So, just fair warning, if you are wanting to purchase this or have it and like haven't used it much but it's beautiful so definitely keeping it it's also pretty new so this ColourPop palette I made myself has a lot of pink and purple it has a couple of um glitters that I don't really use but I am gonna hold on to them for the sole purpose of you know if we ever get to go to like festivals and concerts again sometimes I would use it then but I really love these shades like I like the purple pink vibe and the neutrals it has a couple of golds and they're really pretty and I have a butterfly tattoo if you guys didn't know and the butterfly packaging is so pretty I just I can't it's beautiful so that's staying and I made it myself so definitely keeping it this Morphe X Jeffree Star palette we're getting into more of the stuff that I'm gonna be getting rid of this guy really pretty but way not my color scheme the only shades that I really like in here is like this top section and everything else I don't wear the, the warm tones are a little bit too warm for me. The pinks are a little vibrant for my liking. And any pink that I want, I have in that palette that I made. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Also, I'm not trying to look like Look of the Irish down here. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. This is another Morphe palette. Honestly, it's so repetitive. And it's kind of boring. I'm just going to... We're just gonna get rid of this. It'll be on my Poshmark. I've used it like once. So if you guys are interested in this one, let me know. This one I am keeping. It's new. It's the Maddie Ziegler Morphe palette. See, like this is more of my vibe. Mostly neutrals, a little bit of colors. Kind of like um, the James Charles palette has like neutrals and colors. I like having that option because then if I travel with it, I have a variety. I don't like like what that Morphe palette was where everything pretty much looks the same. So it's just kind of a waste. Like spice it up a little. This one for Morphe is way more my speed. And I think a lot of their modern palettes are a little bit better about not being quite so repetitive because there's really no purpose of having so many colors if they're all gonna be the same. So definitely like this. This shade, gorgeous. And so is that one. Oh my God, I love them. And I'm so excited to try out this pink down here. It's so pretty. Yeah, I like makeup. So if you guys want makeup looks, let me know. This is a Huda palette. This is the first one that I ever got. It is the Huda Mercury Retrograde palette, and I love this thing. I've used it quite a bit. It doesn't look like it because I'm light-handed with my eyeshadows, but I really like it. It has mostly, like, neutral pinky shades, but then these up here, they really spice it up. I love this one especially, and this helped me to be able to get rid of that Carly Bible palette that had that more gray-blue that was, like, shimmery, and I like this one way better, so we're keeping this one. Beautiful on the packaging. Like, oh, my God, it's to die for. Look at the sh Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, this is staying. This one does have those blues that I'm after for UK games. So I am, I think, going to hold on to this one for a little while, at least through the rest of school. I only have a year left, and then I'll most likely get rid of it just because I won't need it as much. But I do need these, like, royal blue shades for that, um, those games that I do like to have some blue and I also really like these shimmer shades up here they're pretty and I just like light shades so I'm gonna hold on to this one okay last palette this is the original Jaclyn Hill palette and I just can't get rid of it it's besides the modern renaissance the first palette that I ever owned oh my god it's beautiful the the formula is starting to go down a little bit and I need to repurchase it but I'm gonna hold on to it because I just love it mostly the mattes work fine it's just the shimmers are drying out a little bit but I do plan to repurchase this around like Black Friday when it goes on sale or if they just have a sale but I can't get rid of it it's got so many beautiful colors all of the mattes are like the perfect shade of mattes the pink shimmers are to die for 
and I just can't. So I'm going to keep that. I think I did a decent job. I don't have as big of a makeup collection as a lot of people that do declutters on here, like on YouTube. So I feel pretty successful for what I did get rid of because I have a small collection now, a very curated collection of the things that I only like. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in the drawer and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the drawer ended up looking like. It does look a lot better now that I have it organized. You can actually see a little bit at the bottom of the drawer. There's some space in here. Like, it's not so full. So I feel pretty successful. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an overview of all the drawers. So this is the cheek products drawer. Again, it might get rearranged a little bit. I just was trying to get it, like, kind of all in the same area. Um... But yeah, definitely glad that I decluttered this a little bit. It used to be like way back in there and kind of like stacked all over the top of each other. So it's definitely narrowed down a little bit. The lip product drawer looks way better and it's only stuff that I'll actually use. Um, back there, the pins have kind of rolled around a little bit. Then we have my eye product drawer. This one is like the most empty drawer I've ever seen. Um, it's kind of empty before, but it's like less stuff now even more beautiful face products drawer um it's pretty much like as organized as it's going to get this is not as much a organization as it is like just getting rid of the stuff i don't wear because i am going to be moving permanently back home for like the whole summer in a couple of weeks from school i do have all my makeup home but i am going to do like one big like series of like room transformation, decluttering, redecorating. Like you guys are going to be shook at what I'm doing to my room. It's going to be beautiful. So that's definitely coming in the next like month or so. So you guys should definitely stay tuned for that. But that's what the inside of there looks like. I forgot to mention I have a hand cream in here. Doesn't really need to be in here, but it is. And it's going to stay here. Actually, I might stick it up here in the nail drawer. This is rather empty right now because some of the stuff is at school. Normally this is like full. But I think that's everything. All right, you guys, that is all for today's video. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. And if you guys liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss my future uploads. There's so much fun content coming in the future. I'm open to doing makeup looks, anything like that that you guys want from me for, about makeup, but I am mostly a lifestyle and college kind of channel. I'm doing a huge series in about a month where I'm redoing this entire room. It's going to be so cool and you guys definitely don't want to miss it. So don't forget to click the subscribe button because it's going to be awesome. But with that being said, I want to go ahead and close this video out and say I will see you all next time. Bye guys.